Hey, this is Mitzi. Today I'm going to show you how to do a somewhat healthier version of a baked bean casserole. Normally you would put hamburger, but today I'm going to be using ground turkey. You may do yours a little different. You can adjust it any way you want. A little more ketchup, a little more Worcestershire. If you want to just take your spoon, add a little of this, a little of that. You don't have to go exactly like I'm doing, but you can create your own. So let's get started. So here's the ingredients you'll need. You may want to pause at this time and write these down. I'm using three cans of pork and beans. I'm using the Showboat brand. Uh, most people use Van Camps, but I don't find much difference in those pork and beans. And now I'm gonna add my mustard. A good heaping teaspoon. And a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. The mustard and the Worcestershire makes it a little tangy, and then the brown sugar is going to give it some sweetness. I'm adding a half a cup of ketchup. And one fourth cup of light brown sugar. You can use a white onion, a yellow onion, or a red onion. I'm using a red onion. You want to dice it up pretty small. And now I'm going to crumble my ground turkey into the mixture. I'm doing this in a big bowl and then I'm going to put it out into a casserole dish. So stir it up really good. and just pour it into your dish. I've already got my oven preheated. I bake this at 425. I'm gonna to top it with some bacon. You can use turkey bacon or regular pork bacon. The bacon that I have today is a little bit fatty, so it might draw up a lot. Turkey bacon will keep its shape and give it more of a good coverage on top. So you want to completely cover it. We want to bake it for one hour to be sure and get the bacon completely done. And there it is. A baked bean casserole topped with bacon. Thank you to James Bricky, my son and sound tech. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching Mitzi's Market Fresh Meals.